News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You. And first and foremost, just uh, a big thank you to everyone who's sent me an email since the latest news about Adobe Muse. Um, probably the most thing that amazes me is just all the support and feedback I've gotten since then. Um, just a lot of thank yous about you know all the widgets I've released and all the all the work I've put into uh, Adobe Muse and uh, yeah, expanding the functionality of Muse. So yeah, that's just. It's really humbling for me and it's really just amazing just to, to see all that feedback and support that I've gotten from everyone. So yeah, just thank you. And um, yeah, this is just gonna be a quick video just letting you know where I'm at with everything. Um, for me, it's gonna be, you know, kind of business as usual in a sense. Um, I'm still gonna release widgets and templates um, and create video tutorials. Uh, Muse is still gonna be somewhat supported till May 2019. And um, I'm actually a bit hopeful that things change uh, in the meantime. Um, for me, I still see a lot of value in Adobe Muse. Um, I, from what I've seen in, in, uh, in, on the Facebook page of Muse and, and just in general, uh, a lot of users really like the program and find a lot of value in it. So I'm hoping things change uh, between then. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep releasing widgets, templates, and video tutorials. Um, I still really enjoy it. Uh, my whole vision uh, when I initially started creating video tutorials and then widgets uh, was to kind of merge that whole world of code uh, into Adobe Muse to make it really easy for users to create websites. And I'm still really passionate about that vision. Uh, for me, I thought Adobe Muse was going to keep uh, developing and, and kind of keep expanding, you know, as far as on the program side. Uh, that's why I've worked so hard to keep updating widgets and to make sure they function great and are using the you know the latest technology. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my vision. Uh, I know a lot of users have talked about Webflow. Um, you know, for me, my vision was for Adobe Muse to get to that point because Webflow has a lot of different tools that are quite interesting, like Flexbox and things like that. So um, you know, I, ideally, I would have liked Muse to kind of go in that direction and keep expanding. And you know, I, th I still think it's possible. I'm, I'm kind of hopeful uh, because I just think it's a great idea. Just that whole idea of merging code with a really nice interface to allow for easy website creation. And um, yeah, I'm still passionate about that vision. Um, I'm still going to keep creating widgets. Uh, Muse is mostly code in the back end, so with widgets we can do a lot. So um, yeah, I'm just going to keep continuing. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions, you can email me at john at museforyoushop .com. Um, I am releasing a new website for museforyoushop.com fairly soon. Um, I didn't want to mention that, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise, but now with this news, I just want to let you know what I'm working on. Um, the new website is going to be a lot easier for subscriptions, um, it's going to be you know, a, a much better user experience for, for everyone. So yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, uh, to anyone who's used a muse for you widget. Um, it's been a lot of fun and it's, it is still a lot of fun uh, creating widgets and expanding the functionality of Adobe Muse. Um, there also is a petition um, to keep Adobe Muse going. Um, I'll leave a link in the show more section below. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of users who's, who have signed that petition. Um, I myself try to stay out of all the, um, I don't know what I called it, but there's a lot going on right now with it. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing everything, but my thing, you know, I'm not here to force anything on anyone. I'm not here to kind of attack Adobe or anything like that. That's not my style. My style is more good support, uh, great ideas, good communication. Uh, but it is interesting to see what's happening in the whole field. Um, I kind of felt that way myself that um, it, it doesn't feel like the end of Muse. I still feel like something can happen um, just because so many users value the program and Adobe didn't really leave us with you know anything else to, to kind of use. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a heads up of where I'm at with it. Uh, Muse for You is going to continue as usual with widgets, templates, and tutorials. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can send me an email at john at museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks everyone. Uh, thanks for all the emails and the support. Uh, it's just great to see that, you know, all, all the work I've put in, that people appreciate it. Even if it had to be this way with kind of this, this news about Muse, um, it's still really cool to see, you know, how everyone appreciates the widgets and uh, using them in Adobe Muse. So again, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.
news for you, awesome websites without code.